Hey guys, welcome back to game number two between uh, UTSA and UTEP. Over here, sharpening my feathers. Yeah, we'll get it started with a Zaya ban, just like last game. Followed by Trundle. Yeah, not super surprising there from UTEP. Lots of good plays from Depression's Trundle last game. We're, we're a really, really good number of contaminated pillars that, that walled off a lot of significant plays. Scion getting banned out is as well. Called, is it not called Frozen Pillar? Or am I just... It might be Frozen Pillar. I might just be crazy. It's contaminated ground. I'm not... using I'm, the trash skin. Uh, I don't know. Why am I thinking Pillar of Filth? I'm going to do some research now real I, quick. So I think Trundle used to be like a trash troll. Right? Yeah, but yeah. now he's frozen. He's ice. Alright, so we've got more bands coming through the Swain. Probably won't see that this series. Silent also. Ari. Uh, UTSA giving a little bit of respect to Thor there, I guess. They don't want to see his Ari again. Yeah, I think I'm just I think I'm just old schooling his kid. I'm pretty sure it was Pillar of Filth when I used to play him a lot. But yeah, it's not anymore. Alright, Tarsier gets the Aurelia again. Not sure exactly why they left that open. I guess they felt like Kelly was more of a threat. Oh no. What? In the gang flank? No! What no! No, 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 no. Slander, do don't do no. this to yourself. No. Why? Oh, no. Oh, well, no. Okay, I'm, he has faith in himself, and his teammates have faith in him. That's that's all I can, I, I, I assume, that's what's happening here. All you have to do is believe, I guess, Gerard. <laughs> now, the J4 pig, I'm a big J4 fan. And it is a tank, I hope, at least. He builds him like an assassin. If, if he builds Duskblade, I'm leaving the stream. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just solo casting from there on out. Yeah, I, I really would not like to see that, but uh, UTSA picks up the Caitlyn once again. I'm not sure what UTEP is thinking on this draft whatsoever, honestly. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, shadowy figure getting Morgana again. Just uh, probably a comfort pick. Yeah, it looks like UTSA is completely content to run it back as much as they can. Or mixing it up with Oriana. Really strong combo with the Jarvan. So there is some synergy there if they play around it. <laughs> We didn't see Magnus playing a whole oh, lot around me. We mostly saw him trying to deal with Tarsier last game, so... If he can play around mid a little bit more that game and make use of that synergy, that would be good to see. Hmm. Yeah, that's basically what I'm thinking. I won't be denied. That's that's my opinion on this draft so far. No problem. They're um they're actually I think a challenger top lane. Or at least the last twenty games they've been slamming out top games. It's unimportant for now. Back to the game. Wait, who has? Shadowy figure. Oh, okay. Um the last they preferred position, ninety-three percent, and then seven percent is support, but they won all their support matches. An impressive record. Mm -hmm. uh, Avada yeah, picks up the Nami. Uh, that's that's a fine pick, I think, in general. But we don't know what AD Carry it's going to be paired with. Mm -hmm. Again, I would say. You don't think it's Kale? No, I don't think it's Kale. I think <laughs> they, I think they need to go to something a little more uh, mobile. Something Jackson's, that can. Jackson's a little more mobile. As an AD carry? Yeah, I mean. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what Depression is thinking playing Jungle Caitlyn. And that's... And Fizz support? That seems pretty troll. I don't know. <laughs> Better uh, than Nami Itty Carry, though. Ooh, the Teemo so, Hover. I would like to see maybe like Tristana here. Um, Varus, or no, Varus was banned out again, so no Varus here. So yeah, Tristana, ooh, Vein Please spotting. Don't, though. Oh, it's too okay. late. It's here happening. We go. Here we go. Ready oh, boy. Choo choo. You ready to be on the vein train? Yeah, hold on. Let me get my vein spawning rubric out. Oh no. I'm actually going to do it to him. <laughs> vein spawning rubric. Let's oh, see. No. It's it's somewhere out there. Where is it? Why do you why do you have it? Why is this a thing you have? Uh for vein spotting in solo queue. And this is better than solo queue. Okay, so are you, are you not familiar with the rules? No, you gotta help me out here. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is a Reddit thing. Um, yeah, yeah. So, when your vein does something extremely vein-esque, you get a certain number of points based on what happens. Uh-huh. So, so, you get points for the action multiplied by the number of enemies they did it into, multiplied by what they gave up to do it, multiplied by what they said in chat about it afterward, right? Uh -huh. So let's say they flash in 1v3 and die without getting a kill. Flash in, that's two points. They tower dive times two, so that's four points, into three enemies times three, that's 12 points, and then they blame the jungler. Boom, that's 24 points. Okay. <laughs> um, if if somebody could actually send this uh, this template over over to me, Oh, I, I will, I will, I got you. It's a Reddit mm -hmm. post from about three years ago. I'm going to forward this to me. I appreciate it. It's on the Series 1 channel, my friend. All right. <laughs> of, uh, of, of Centrals? Thanks. Yes. Thanks, you're the best. Here we go. Got yeah, that so... pulled up. I'm going to have Twitch chat pulled up. There we go. All right. All right, here we go. Just waiting on spectator delay. What do you think about these matchups? Um, what, what do you think about the top lane? Okay, George? so I, I'm a top laner and a uh -huh. jungler on different times. This, this, <laughs> this makes me mad. Like you, you, you already know you're not going to win the matchup as game plan. Play something else, please. Like I think, I think especially if they lose this game, they're they're going to have to like put Slant Lord on a tank or just something different. Or ban the Aurelia, which they could have done in the first place. So I, I think the draft is pretty questionable. On the on the other hand, I actually am not a huge fan of UTSA's draft either. That they kind of have the same problem that uh, UTEP had last game. They don't really have a tank. Jax will build kind of tanky probably, but their front line. You just have to believe really in tanky there. fizz. <laughs> yeah. Um. Like, have you what? Like, you're scoffing at that. Like, it's not a thing. <laughs> I mean, it was back in Season 6, right? I, 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 maybe. It's not a thing anymore. You're right. Um, but I guess they're just really relying on the fact that there's not really a team fight if you already killed two or three members of the enemy team. I think you're exactly right. I think UTSA is saying, okay, we figured out we're better than these guys. We're just going to kill them. We're just going to skirmish. We're going to take 2v2s and 3v3s all around the map and just kill them and win that way. We're not going to try to front-to-back team fight. We're not going to try to macro. We're just going to smash them. Hmm. I mean, that's what it's looking like. No exhausts on either supports again. Here, this here time we around. go. <laughs> like, we've discussed this too. Like, what is happening? Avada, okay. So so you're, you're Avada Kedavra, right? Uh -huh. so the enemy team, they've got Aurelia, who can teleport to your lane and kill you, right? You've uh -huh. got Jax, who can yeah. gank your lane and kill you. You've got Fizz, who can roam down or teleport and kill you. All of those people will be countered by exhaust, but they, they say, no, we need Ignite. I'm killing this lane. I'm, <laughs> I'm killing, killing my laners. I'm, I'm killing them right now. Nothing can stop me from, oh, I'm dead. Yeah, to uh -huh. an extent... I do admire 
the uh, mental fortitude. Tenacity. That, yeah, the tenacity that UTEP is displaying here. They're saying, you know, that first game didn't work. Oh, well, we'll try the gangplank again, and we'll put our ADC on vain and see what happens. Maybe, like, maybe the Reclaimer is a god-tier vein. Uh, they do have the project skin. <laughs> and you know what that means. I think that actually will get you points for vein spotting. Does it? Uh, Wait, Twitch check, Twitch check can you help me out? Yeah, Twitch chat, can you confirm? Does the project skin give bonus points in the vein spotting game? Yeah, the original post was made before that skin came out, so. Hello. Hello. All right. Hello. Uh, what, what do What do you think? We didn't really talk about mastery keystones. Um, oh, what do you, well, what do you think see. about them? They They look well, pretty much. Looks pretty standard. Uh, electrocute on Jarvan. Uh, that worries me a little bit. The, uh, the vein yeah. spotting, vein spotting. It's times a thousand points for uh, for everything. We can also J4 spot. If he starts building AD, we're gonna start J4 spotting. I was gonna, I was gonna actually say, well, what's gonna happen whenever we have three people competing, competing to vein spot harder? Yeah, we'll have to see. I think. I'm, I'm a pretty big Jarvan player myself, and even when I build tank, I usually still take Electrocute just for the ganking power it has. Mm -hmm. So I I hope, for his sake, he's not building AD. And he's not locked into it by any means. I, I really hope to see that Cinder Hulk come out. And actually, Depression should as well. Oh, man. Here, here we go. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a fun one. Uh, let's see. Twitch chat says one thousand point extra points for vein spotting for this skin. Yeah. Okay. Sounds about right. We're I agree. making it. We're making money, dude. <laughs> yeah, every vein spotting point is one dollar into my PayPal account. Shoot, Over in the I mid lane, was... we see I'ma let you carry going super aggro immediately onto Thor, and uh, Thor kind of responding with the "Hey, stop that!" <laughs> yeah, I can auto as well. Yeah, and, and he's it's like, so you can. Yeah, he's still going for it. This is very aggressive lane. I think. I oh. Think Thor might be a little upset. The the binding lands on the Kadabra. Did you did you see Shadowy basically just wanted that uh, binding around that minion? I did not see that actually. Like, I that was that was a really really close binding to it should have hit the minion, but it hit the Nami instead. Are you saying we should get a remake? No, I'm not. I don't want a remake. <laughs> I want. Ah, oh, that that oh! was good though. Big plays. I think we actually lose vein spotting points for that, because that was actually a good good thing. Oh, that bubble from Avada, very so going very wide. Vein spotting points? I think we can go ahead and say negative one. So far the vein has not done anything vein like. Alright, here we go. We got Jax jumping over onto uh Magnus. Magnus. Yeah, he's J4, he'll just eat you away. He's Totally cool with that. Mm -hmm. Now, up in the top lane, Tarsier has all the wards. Slantor has no idea where oh, Jax is. Tommy's getting found again. Oh wow, lots of damage on the shadowy figure. Yeah. Miss the vein and you kinda pay for it a little. Yep. Now, if we see Reclaimer, like, flash in here and try to get a kill, then, then we'll start awarding points. You know what it was? You know what it was? I think Slant Lord, uh, changed his skin. Uh... It's very important. Don't know if it's quite helping him in the matchup or not. It did get him a bounty, uh, bounty bag. So that was a nice little extra bounty. Oh, that's Those, things so, those things are so nice oh. for Kleptomancy. Main almost gets taken down. Mm -hmm. Hank looking for looking for landing that net. 
Oh, the binding almost comes through again. The comet does find its way onto Vane's head, at least. And with Avada out of mana, not gonna be able to heal up too easily. Shadowy looking, just creeping up in that bush, trying to find the the optimal distance for a max range bind. Yeah, he's doing some uh, mental calculus right now. Yeah, dude. Like the math, all the all the numbers and stuff are floating past Morgana's face right now. Yep. Oh, and he goes for it, and he misses. And you know, not all math is. It was it was a uh, it was a theory that was a little off. Yeah. He could not complete the proof. Okay. Um, it's time to get worried. What take are we worried at, about? Take a look at Maximal Magnus's inventory. I'm not worried about. It. I'm not worried about this at all. That, that long sword could turn into. Uh, into uh, what? What sword. could that turn into? Uh, Tell me. That glove that gives AD and health. Uh, Jarum's fist. Sure. Uh. Maybe. Yeah, that's I hope. Its, that's its name. I'm just gonna call it the AD gun. I. I. Oh, um, oh yeah, it's harsh. You're laying down the damage. Hey, up hey, there. but he got the seventy gold bounty back. Yep. Well, yeah. If you look at the gold, he's actually ahead, even though he's down in CS just from Klepto. Klepto's such a good keystone, especially for gameplay. Yeah, I guess it makes up for losing lane so hard to them. <laughs> oh, but here's the gank. Gonna yeah. gonna maybe force a flash? No. Yeah, uh, no. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Force, oh, okay. Yeah, let's force the flash from Tarsier. He didn't want to flash. He didn't want to flash too early, but at the same time, he didn't want to get flashed on. Yeah. Reclaimer getting really low, forced to heal. Yeah. Um, even after the heal, still at only about 150 HP. Let's see. Let you. I'm gonna let you carry really after that cannon minion. Um, Jax also kind of deep in the enemy jungle. Wow. Well, look how. Four. Yeah. And he needs to do that because look That's at how far one. behind carry is. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, very calm play there from Thor. Knows yeah. exactly how to survive that game. Also, uh, luckily, luckily for I'm gonna let you carry, he did have Jax to take the initial aggro, well, all the aggro from the turret, or else definitely would've been dead to rights. It's our sheer going Speaking of dead to rights. <laughs> yeah, Slant Lord has to flash, and hey, hey, the bot lane it. tower. Oh. This is, this oh. is just a mirror. Yep. I don't think you can expect to take Vayne into someone like Caitlyn and, and win lane at all. I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure this will work out. Uh, another long sword for J4, so it's not Jarm's fist. Oof. I guess he could be getting Tiamat, but that's... Don't, uh, don't forget to super fast forward just to make sure you're all the way up to current game time. By the way, I just did that. Oh yes, I was 20 seconds behind. Right? Goodness. Jeez. I actually do not know why that's happening. How does it feel to be in the- it's a small indie company, Riot Games. Don't worry about it. Yes, well I think what may be happening is my internet service provider is also a small indie company. Oh uh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Mm. Hmm. Alright, back to the action. Yeah, uh, we see leads for the Caitlyn in the bot lane and Tarsier up top. Uh, luckily for UTEP, they do have a lead in the mid lane, but... Magnus, oh no! Magnus tries something! Oh no! <laughs> Carry forced to flash! Oh, he's gonna get it! Oh. The first blood for the J4. Oh, poor Fizz. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna let you carry, actually, will need to be carried. It's looking like he's pretty far behind. 30 CS and gave up first blood. Oh, Ooh, oh Nami! Wow! 
Nami's no Bane. longer with this, but Vayne. Vayne, yep, that's that's gonna be a few points. Oh! 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 Uh, oh, wow, that was... that was kinda close. Did but, force a flash. But I, it looks Vayne. like Reclaimer flashed into that, so that's a bit spotting points. Oh, Shadowy Figure with a really good vine to set this one up, Oriana gonna fall. And in top lane, Tarsier almost gets the 2 beam one. Does get taken down by Slight Lord eventually. Huh. I feel like I've watched this matchup before. Like I've, I've this is this is a familiar song and dance. It... Yeah, same song, second verse. Oh no. I, I do Se not like it. Second verse, same as the first. Oh no. This is, uh, so far not voting well for UTEP. 2k gold behind, mirroring almost exactly the 2k gold lead UTSA had in the last game at this time. Mm -hmm. hmm. Are we sure we're just not watching a rematch of game one? But with different uh, champions? Like, it's the game one. Well, and the champions aren't universe. actually that different. So, yeah. Sure, it's we can an, go with it's that. an alternate universe. So, um, how many points should we give Reclaimer for uh, flashing in and dying? He, they didn't flash in, they flashed out. Oh, he did? Okay, I just saw he that flashed he backwards. flash backwards. He, and... he didn't flash forward, so he flashed he tumbled, backwards. tumbled forward, though. Yeah, but that's tumbling. Like, the, the, like is that a rule? I'm looking. Well, he could have tumbled out, right? He, he could have tried to get out, but he just tried to go even harder. Well, the ultimate from Kaylin. Yeah, just, just poking him Thor. Thor. Yeah, Thor will have that flash up soon, and just have the barrier, so... A, a thorn in Thor's side. So to speak, yes. As long as he doesn't get hit by a binding or a trap, he should be okay. Uh, and Jarvan kind of hanging out on the wings. Okay, so J4, he did get a Tiamat, but it looks like he is getting Cinder Hulk. See? Okay, so we're good. We're so, good. Crises averted. Yeah, crisis averted. Oh, but now Nami did catch that Earth. As Rift Herald is getting some in the mid lane. Hello, Shelly. Oh, uh, that tower's go- Oh, wait! Magnus goes Ooh, for the big play. The Oriana synergy comes through. Looks like UTEP will pick up two. Lose that tower, though. Magnus might be trying to go for more. Does pick Three. up shadowy figure. All right, let's see if uh, Tarsier can do anything against Slant. Yeah, um, that was actually a great example of Tep uh, playing to their strengths of their team comp. They got a big J4 ult into a big Orion ult, and they ended up with three kills. And they actually have a small gold lead now. Oh man, it's not last game after all. It's not all. last game! Oh, get hype! Excitement! Yeah! We're not stuck in a loop, this isn't Groundhog Day with the League of Legends match. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, I bet that would have been really bad. I, li I like you a lot, but not that much. Yeah, I, I agree, I just meant yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Long, long time to spend with somebody that you just met, you know, forever. Ooh, speaking of no, landlord, though, of course so... the flash out, but it's not enough. That poor man. Take it cut down in his youth. Oh, just, just, oh. Trimmed down by... He had that stopwatch, but he knew it just wouldn't do anything for him. It would only prolong his inevitable fate. Just let Aurelia take a selfie. Before she murders him. Oh yeah, and Aurelia's about to complete that cull too and get some damage onto that tower, so... She's about to bring the pain. She does get pushed back by teleport though. Ah, uh, yes. So, Gangplank's back there to invest in some more bank. Despite that kill, he is hanging in there. He's only 300 gold behind. Well, he did get that kill off of her earlier, but she did drop his... Oh, she did it again. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 you're running the wrong direction. 
Oh, wait. Ooh, there's and the, the stopwatch. stopwatch. He does pull the play off, and That's I'm not actually sure. Stopwatch. I'm not actually sure how it happened, though, but uh, the gold lead in that small time went more towards Tarsier after that kill. I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, hold on. Uh -huh. like, okay, are you so, so Tarsier had about a 300 gold lead before that play, right? Uh-huh. And after that play, Tarsier had like a 400 gold lead. I'm, I'm not sure how that happened. Oh, it was the cult. It was the cult. Oh, okay. Let's, let's, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, casters of bronze, never mind. Oh, no, oh, we have... wait, oh wait, here we go, here we, we go. Have... Reclaim it. Oh, he tumbles in. He's going for the kill. Oh, God. Never mind, it's all over. It's all over. He could flash in, but he opts not to. Uh, as you have Magus trying to do anything, Oriana getting jumped on by the Prussian Thor forced to use his barrier and flash out. Probably here. No? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh Hank does. Torch here's here though. Oh. Uh oh. Magnus goes down. Cyborg's disarmed. Has to back away. Stand near his tower. Still, I'm still really excited about that stop one play by uh, Slander. It was really yeah, nice. Yeah, that was flashy. It's a good sidestep uh, also good by uh, Hank. Good offer, yeah, yeah. Lots of fancy footwork. Some might even say fleet footwork. <laughs> oh, did that one not land? I'm sorry. It it did. You're good. I got you. I was just helping. Oh, of course. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I got you back. Right. What was that? Was that too obvious of a laugh track? Uh, maybe. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll tone it down. Uh, so, we have Tysir just kind of showing off that impressive ability to stun uh, anyone anywhere, anywhere on the map. at any time. Yeah, basically like Teemo's global laugh that he used to have. Ah, uh, yes. So, looks like we have a lull for a second. Uh, this is the state of the game. UTSA has just a 1,000 gold lead. They haven't busted it open like they did last game. Um, Vayne possibly could, you know, blow the game open if she gets a good fight. It could happen. UTEP definitely not out of this one yet. Uh, Magnus did finish that Cinder Hulk. I'm very proud of him. He got the tabbies. Oh, oh and no. Slandlord. Not going to. Probably one out of this one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but. And neither Kramer. is I'ma let you carry. Yeah. I'ma let you carry. Uh, he is not looking good this game. He's definitely looking like the weakest part of the. Weakest link on this team right now. So why would say try and let someone else carry? Uh, perhaps. He might be suppressing his power level on purpose, perhaps. He's sandbagging. Yes, he's sandbagging. Is he Chinese? No, but... You know, all the LPL teams sandbagging. Oh, I mean, I guess, but <laughs> that's it. I, I that... wouldn't... Hmm. That sound that sounded racist, but I promise it wasn't in the legal weapons <laughs> context. Hmm. No, because the, the LPL team sandbag to get better seeds of worlds. <laughs> Just so that they don't have to play against other teams. And, oh no, Hank. Oh, yeah. oh man, the airdrop landing on him too, just to add insult to injury. Uh, uh oh, I'm gonna let you carry oh. for big play here. We'll get the kill on the Magnus with the help of depression. Oh, the double bubble. Oh my god, a great bubble from- or a uh, great shockwave from Thor. Double bubble plus shockwave is trouble. Absolutely. Don't get comfortable in my absence. Uh-oh, Tarsier's on the hunt. He has his prey in his sights. Ah, oh, the slow. Yeah, the stun does not land. Fortunately for Slant Lord. A little bit of 
decluttering of what's going on right now. So with the game kind of where it stands right now, uh, how do you how do you feel about it? Uh, I mean, UTL Paso's doing a lot better at not letting the lead get too out of control this game, but UTSA is most definitely still in control of this game, and I think unless something big happens that they're probably still going to win. But you never know, maybe we'll have another nutty play from Slant Lord. Maybe. Maybe. I'd, I'd love to see it happen. I want to see Aurelia get crushed. Uh, hmm. that, that would make me personally happy. That's not, that's not nice to Aurelia mains all over the place, though. It's a little uh, well, insensitive. I mean, you don't have to be nice to people like that. Wow. Wow, I don't know, I've been- Oh, no, oh, I'm gonna let you carry. Is gonna try and jump on the bot lane here. Is gonna run- well, get tumbled. Okay, Reclaimer. Okay, he didn't flash in. I, th I wanted him to go for it. He missed his- he missed his Condemn, though. Ah, uh, yes, he did. Barely, right? Yeah, it wasn't- it wasn't too far off. It almost landed. But with no, uh, with no way to keep Fizz away from you, it was pretty wise not to- not to pursue. <laughs> Fizz in the jungle, cause uh, cause you could you could find him. I'm not saying it would have been wise for him to pursue. I'm just saying that it would have been fun to watch. With the airdrop coming down. Back is trying to play. Looks like they were trying to set up the four shockwave play, and they will still get it. Russian gets taken out, but Tarshir comes in and gets. Uh, looks like it's going to be a full ace. So, uh, UTSA has a wave coming in, and they have Caitlyn. Nobody's up for 20 seconds. They're probably going to get at least an inhibitor here. Yeah. I mean, not more. Much more can come from it. I guess they can rotate top lane. Yeah. Because uh, they have they have the wave going to their advantage there. They, they can get there in time and pick that up too after this engine. Maybe. And that that play looks like it was the. Straw that broke the Kimmel's back, the lead just ballooned to almost 7,000 gold. Yeah, that was, uh, that was really detrimental there. Yeah, full team wipe. Not, not what you want to see there. Vada Kedavra get caught out while trying to ward. Looks like UTSA is just going to reset. I think when they get back, they'll just set up the Baron, try to force it. Oof. Oof. Big oof. Big oof. Oh, no. I agree. Because they're doing what they can to sort of make some more money. So, uh, game three, like, how do you feel about the Aurelia Gangplank matchup top lane? Yeah, so I think... So I think either Aurelia needs to be banned or Gangplank needs to go and they need to try something else. <laughs> And, I'm, and I really don't mean that in a flamey way, but like, if it didn't work twice, just try something different, because like, if you lose, oh. not anyway, maybe oh. trying something. If they all die here, then it could be game over for them. Looks like Thor's going to get taken down. And, and that's a Baron. Yeah, UTSA is going to go straight to that Baron. Or that main Pentakill. Yep, let's see it. That's basically what UTEP's gonna need here. Is a 2v5 pentakill on the reclaimer. Definitely a better look for him than whatever he was playing last game, I suppose. Jin. Jin, yes. Better look than Jin. Would you agree? Ah! Oh, uh, I'm gonna let you carry. Just do the flash there. I don't know if that was a mistake. He wanted or... to get he wanted to get to the minion way faster. Oh, I think that's exactly what it was. Well, it doesn't matter too much, because UTEP has no idea that he blew that. Mm -hmm. No information on that. As they are moving up into the top lane side to I don't know, try anything here. But it just looks like this is die. Magnus slot. 
you're stuck in here with me, but Hello oh, One no. said, no, you're stuck in here with me. Oh, black food by the tower. Oh, to bait? I'm gonna let you carry it into that tower. Yeah, Goodness I'm gonna let you carry it. Ooh! Oh, wow. Oh, Big Bane? Play. Bane? Flash? Okay, that was a flash in, right? I think, uh, yeah, but he did get a kill. He got a kill, but he died. Okay? Let, let me calculate that real quick. I gotta calculate it. Okay. You, you cast while I calculate. Alright, so, uh, we have, we have some just Seer going to take minions in the bottom lane while Depression and then we're working on the tower top. Um... Wave's gonna crash in the bottom as well. Like I said, Seer's still working on getting that, as nobody going to stop him until a lot of the cadaver does. Um, attempt to walk down there to watch the tower fall uh, to get initiated on and deleted, along with Magnus and our legend carry coming in to the assist with the Seer to clean the kill up as he falls. For the sixth time. Okay, so I did calculate it, um, so he flashed in to four people and died for it, so by my calculations, that's, um, let's see, uh, I had it, uh, 16 points, so that's pretty good, pretty good main spot. Uh, you times a thousand for the skin? Oh, of course, so, uh, 16,000, 16,000 points. That's, that's and of pretty course, impressive. That could be multiplied further if you blamed his jungler for that play. <laughs> well, we have to get the interview after this match. <laughs> to find oh. out... Oh, um, we have... <laughs> oh, man. I'm pretty sure this game's gonna be ending soon. UTSA gearing up for the final push. One inhibitor down, two exposed. Oh. Uh oh. Finding lands. And Thor will be completely deleted. Oh no. Is Magnus trying something on the Tarshir? But Tarshir says, No, you can't you can't do that. This is his ult, but it doesn't really matter. The inhibitor will fall. Oh man. So can you maybe figure out the word puzzle that's in Twitch chat right now? Uh let's let me look. Word puzzle. <laughs> uh let's see. B okay, B <laughs> underscore N I R E L I underscore. Okay, um I think it's a foul. I think Ben really I was actually gonna go with Y. Okay. Bin Arelli I? Perhaps? Not sure. Maximum Magnus getting taken down. Reclaimer trying his darkness to get something done. Does pick up on the Let You Carry. But I don't think they'll be winning out on this desperate defense here. 28 minutes in, you just say. Breaking into the base of the tab. 15k gold lead. Tarshir going for a crazy flank. We'll pick up two. Will get taken down by the oh, tower? Goodness. No, he lives! No, he does get taken down. At last. By Avada. GG's coming out. The, the Magi is on Caitlyn fully stacked. Oh, wow. I, wow, I have not seen that. Uh,